Frontalosis or localized acute otitis externa or circumscribed otitis externa. It is nothing but the boil in the external auditory canal. And what is boil? It is just the inflammation of the hair follicles. So how would we define furunculosis with regards to external auditory canal? It is the inflammation of the hair follicles, right, in the cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal. Now cartilaginous part is very important because we said hair follicles are only present in the cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal. Hair follicles are not present in the bony part, so there is no chance of furunculosis in the bony part of the external auditory canal, right? The most common organism being Staphylococcus aureus in the modality of injury could be nail injury or minor lacerations or it may be pencil injury in the children's right and that area will be lacerated and the organism would invade and start the inflammatory process and it will result in the pus formation and this pus would obliterate the external auditory canal and patient will have impairment of hearing okay now if you see a patient having a recurrent attack of furunculosis Think of diabetes or Staphylococcus aureus carrier, right? And that carrier might be in the nose. So it becomes very important to rule out the other septic foci in the body also. So patient, how will the patient will present to you? Of course, there'll be huge and severe localized ear ache, right? Or otalgia. And that will be aggravated during jaw movement, right? And if this pus ruptures, it will result in ear discharge. And of course, any pathology in the ear will, will result in ear fullness or impairment of hearing. Okay. What are the signs which you will see? There will be presence of ball in the external auditory canal with normal tympanic membrane. This is very important. We will compare furunculosis with acute otitis media with mastoiditis in the next slide. Where the tympanic membrane won't be normal and there will be no presence of boil. Tragal sign will be positive. That means if you press the tragus, the patient will complain of the pain. Okay, mastoid sign will be negative. Mastoid sign can be elicited at the three different places, the Simba concha, the zygoma and the mastoid tip. Okay, and hearing will improve after introducing ear speculum. Because furunculosis is nothing but the inflammation or there will be collection of pus and that pus would obliterate the external auditory canal. If you introduce the ear speculum, that will make an efficient way for sound waves to pass. Okay, and that will improve the hearing. That may not be case in the acute mastoiditis. There will be obliteration of post auricular sulcus. What is post auricular sulcus? It is the sulcus between the medial surface of the pinna and lateral face of the mastoid. That will be obliterated due to edema. Okay, pinna will be pushed forwards and outwards. Since the post auricular sulcus is obliterated, there will be edema. The pinna will be pushed forwards and outwards. Right, forwards and outwards. Both pinna will be at same level if you look from behind because that pinna is not pushed downwards it is just pushed forwards and outwards so both pinna will be at same level if you look from behind of course mastoid x-ray would turn out to be normal because there will be no cloudiness in the mastoid air cells now how will we treat we'll give 10 percent ichthyomalgicin packs on alternate days we also call this as ig wick on alternate days ichthyomal will act as antiseptic and glycerin will act as hygroscopic so that will absorb moisture and keep the external auditory canal dry we'll give coamoxiclave to treat the other septic foci as well as different closes in the external auditory canal ear ear drops in the form of antibiotics and two percent acidic acid irrigation to bring down the pH of the external auditory canal because the pathologies only start when the pH of the external auditory canal becomes alkaline. So here is the difference between furunculosis and acute otitis media with mastoiditis. In furunculosis there will be presence of boil with normal tympanic membrane. Trigal sign will be positive, mastoid sign will be negative. Hearing will improve on introducing the ear speculum because that will make an efficient way for sound waves to pass. There will be obliteration of post auricular sulcus due to edema and that edema will push the, the pinna forwards and outwards. Okay, It is not pushed downwards so if you see both pinna from behind it will be at the same level. And of course mastoid x-ray would turn out to be normal. Whereas in acute otitis media with mastoiditis there will be no boil and tympanic membrane will be congested and it, it may show cartwheel sign. Tragal sign will be negative, mastoid sign will be positive if there is presence of acute mastoiditis. Hearing may or may not improve on introducing the ear speculum. Okay, there will be no obliteration of post auricular circus, but pinna will be pushed forwards, outwards, and little bit downwards 
due to edema of the mastoid. Pinna will be pushed forwards, outwards and downwards. So if you see both pinna from the behind, the affected pinna will be at the lower level. Okay. And if you order the mastoid x-ray, the affected mastoid cells will show cloudiness.